Hi, I'm Jessica Riddick. I'm a member of the Board of Education for District 21, and I was honored to be invited by Dr. Shapiro to White Cane Day at Twain to see two exceptional students and their teachers introduce to the other students the learning and mobility aids that they use in the classroom and to navigate the hallways at school. So Alex and Daniela are two first graders who, when I think of them, the first thing that comes to mind is that they are incredibly funny, they value peer relationships, they are independent and they work every day in order to gain more independence and they work really hard at school, they do well in school and that is very important to both of them. They both attend their home school, which is Twain. They receive vision itinerant services and orientation and mobility services through NSSEO. Um, NSSEO has collaborated with Dr. Shapiro and Ms. Connolly to make sure that not only the building is accessible, the things in their classrooms and their specials are accessible, but also that we educate the Twain staff and students on how it is to be around someone with a vision impairment or what that even means. I have the very fortunate job that my job is fun. We go out on walks in the community and a lot of it is incidental of it's garbage day. Listen, what does that sound like? Or with with some of them, um, we see garbage cans and just kind of learning about those learning opportunities that just kind of arise naturally in that environment too is just one of the best things about my job. My name is Alex and I'm in the first grade. Um, I like to learn vision of Miss White. Tell me about Miss White. Miss White is so nice. Um, she helps me with vision. Alex is such a great student. He's very bright, super sweet, um, loves to learn and interact with his peers. And he has, from what I've heard, he has come a long way since um, he was younger till now. He knows his way around very well in the school building. He loves to say hello to all of the past buyers and they love to say hello to him too. Um, both of them started with us in the district in preschool and to watch them grow. Daniela, for example, came into preschool only speaking Spanish and through the years she's learned to um, develop her language skills in English as well as learning to read and write in Braille. Um, White Cane Day was something that was really special for our Twain community because we were able to educate our students and our staff that don't work with Daniela on a regular basis about, and Alex, um, about what it's like to read in Braille or to use a cane and to really be able to celebrate the gifts that they have and they bring to our community. Um, as the principal at Twain, it's amazing and I am so proud to see the school community gathering around all of our students who may bring diverse experiences to the community and to see other first graders interacting and saying hi to our students in the hallway or playing with them at recess and at lunch and helping them if they may need support in some way um, to just really see everyone come together to build that sense of community no matter what they look like, what their needs are, and just really embracing the ability to become one Twain community. I like uh, the program because um, it's very helpful for um, my education and blind like me. And also, I like my teachers because they help me, give me so much because I'm all, like a blind and 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 Mike like Mike like my friend Alex. The NSSEO Vision Department has been the recipient of um, a grant for the NSSEO Foundation for about 10 years that we call VIP Club. It is a monthly, kind of monthly, activity where we meet after school and all students with vision impairments through the NSSEO member districts meet together to do a fun activity. We've gone bowling, we've done Christmas shopping, we've cooked Thanksgiving dinners. And so it gives the students a chance to meet with each other and build great friendships. During these VIP club events, parents are also able to meet for a parent group. So parents are able to talk to other parents of students with a vision impairment of, um, and ask questions, get information. And Alex and Daniela's parents have um, been 
attending all of those parent groups, which has been really helpful. Yeah, hi, I'm Vivan's mom, and Vivan really benefits a lot through this uh, VIP club. He gets to meet most of his friends and even ones who are in the same uh, visual impairment like him and he learns a lot and uh, we get to meet parents also. I'm Andy Morrison and my daughter is Louise. Uh, she's in fifth grade and has a vision impairment. We've been coming here since she started NSSEO and uh, think it's a wonderful organization and we really enjoy the parent group as well. Buenas tardes, mi nombre es Silvia Herrera. Mamá de Daniela González, ella tiene impedimento visual. Asusto, asisto anualmente a las reuniones de NSCO, programa de, para niños que están impedidos de visualidad. Estoy agradecida porque aquí nos apoya, nos ofrece en este orientación cómo poder ayudar a nuestros hijos. Y pues gracias por el apoyo. I started working with Alex and Daniela and their families when they both were in preschool. So over the past four or five years, I've been able to witness um, the progression of their skills and um, relation to school and them in their everyday tasks. They've worked really, really hard on all aspects of their day, and I'm just really proud of who they are as students, but mostly people. And I'm really excited to see where they go next.